fastest passenger plane in the world. Concorde actually flies faster than a bullet from a gun. So fast that Concorde can fly to America in just three hours. Concorde here is built for speed. She's slim and streamlined like a huge bird. The flying machines today come in all shapes and sizes and they fly in many different ways. Jumbo jets are enormous. They can't fly nearly as fast as Concorde, but can carry many more passengers, over 600 at a time. Here's a flying machine for just one person. Seaplanes can land on water. Very useful when there's not enough land for a runway. A jump jet doesn't need a runway either. It can land on the deck of a ship. Helicopters use their spinning blades to hover in the air so they can rescue people from places that are difficult to get to. Have you ever seen the red arrows flying in formation? Today, people fly faster, further and higher than ever before. It's amazing to think that within a hundred years, one person's lifetime, that planes have gone from this to this. So what are the main differences between those early planes and today's? Well, one big difference is this, the engine. In the early planes, the engines ran on petrol. The engine drove a propeller which pulled the plane through the air. Some planes today still use propellers. But the fastest planes have jet engines which push them through the air. There's another big difference between old aircraft and modern planes. Most planes today are completely sealed off from the air outside, so um, you can't just open the window for a breath of fresh air. Do you remember Ellis when she flew in that old aircraft at Duxford? She had to wear warm clothes because she was out in the open air. And the higher you fly, the colder it gets and the harder it is to breathe. Planes today carry their own air with them so they can fly much higher. Today, we can eat, sleep, and even watch films while flying miles up in the air. Are we clear to take off? Ready for take off? Start number one engine. Start number four engine now. Start number four engine. Start number four now. Check brakes off. Brakes off. Three, two, one, now. 
Marty and Peter are having a go at being pilots. This is where pilots learn how to fly. It's called a flight simulator, and it has all the instruments and controls of a real plane, but it never actually leaves the ground. It takes all of this to fly a modern plane. Instruments to measure how high you are flying, how fast, and in which direction. Controls to make the plane go up or down, right or left. By looking at these dials and lights, the pilot knows exactly what is happening in every part of the plane. In our story today, Angela went to the airport, and you'll never guess what she got up to. Angela's father took her to the airport. But when they got there, a terrible thing happened. Angela's father got lost. Angela looked under aeroplanes, and on top of aeroplanes, and beside aeroplanes. But she couldn't find him any place. So Angela decided to look inside an aeroplane. She saw one with an open door and climbed up the steps. One, two, three, four, five, six. Her father wasn't there, and neither was anyone else. Angela had never been in an aeroplane before. In the front, there was a seat that had lots of buttons all around it. Angela loved to push buttons. So she walked up to the front, sat down in the seat, and said to herself, It's OK if I push just one button. Yes, 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 yes. Then she slowly pressed the bright red button. Right away, the door closed. Angela said, Oh, it's OK if I push just one more button. Oh, yes, it's OK. Yes, 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 yes. Slowly, she pushed the yellow button. Right away, the lights came on. Angela said, It's OK if I push just one more button. Don't you think it's OK if I push just one more button? Oh, yes. It's OK. Yes, 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 yes. She pushed the green button. Right away, the motor came on. Angela said, Yikes! The aeroplane took off and went right up into the air. When Angela looked out of the window, she saw that she was very high in the sky. She didn't know how to get down. The only thing to do was to push one more button. So she slowly pushed the black button. It was the radio button. A voice came on the radio and said, uh, Bring back that airplane, will you? You'll see few. You. Angela said, My name is Angela. I'm five years old and I don't know how to fly airplanes. Oh dear said the voice. Ah, what a mess. Listen very carefully, Angela. Take the steering wheel and turn it to the left. Angela turned the wheel and very slowly the aeroplane went in a big circle and came back right over the airport. OK, said the voice. Now pull back on the wheel. Angela pulled back on the wheel, and the aeroplane slowly went down to the runway. It hit once and bounced. It hit again and bounced. Then one wing scraped the ground. The whole plane smashed and broke into little pieces. Angela was left sitting on the ground. She didn't even have a scratch. All sorts of cars and trucks came speeding out of the terminal. There were police cars, ambulances, fire trucks and buses. And all sorts of people came running. But in front of everybody was Angela's father. He picked her up and said, Angela, are you all right? Yes, said Angela. Oh, Angela, he said. 
The aeroplane isn't all right. It's in very small pieces. I know, said Angela. It was a mistake. Well, Angela, said her father, promise me you will never fly another aeroplane. I promise, said Angela. Are you sure, said her father. Angela said very loudly, I promise, I promise, I promise. Angela didn't fly an aeroplane for a very long time. But when she grew up, she didn't become a doctor. She didn't become a truck driver. She didn't become a secretary. And she didn't become a nurse. She became an aeroplane pilot. I wonder what kind of machines we'll fly in the next hundred years. We're making space rockets. No, at the bottom. Put them on a the table in this thing. No, that one's bigger. Sorry. The rocket is especially made to go to very hot planets like Mercury and Venus. My spaceship is very small. It goes in and out of space, passing alien planets. Blast off! Sometimes the aliens order food that's really difficult to get, and they have to go out of the universe and into other universes to get it. Once we went to the moon, and we bounced all over the place. And it was very scary. And then we saw the stars. And very good. They were the biggest big. And, and we never went there again. My space rocket is round. It's got a little green furry hat at the top, which is the heating. It's got four legs to stand. rocket can fly 4,000 times the speed of light. It can go anywhere. Okay, chaps, time for us to take off now, so cheerio. See you soon. Bye. Up, 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 up in the air. What do I see? High above me. Up, 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 up in the air. Way up high in the sky. Up, 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 up in the air. What do I see? The news and that's followed.